It's hard to believe that it's been 100 days. This weekend marks 100 days since October 7th. Since the horrible, horrific attacks by Hamas, leaving over a thousand dead. 100 days since our Israeli brothers and sisters were taken hostage and are still being held captive. A lot has transpired over the past 100 days, but I think one of the reasons why it's so hard for me to fathom that such a long period of time has actually gone by is because each and every day since October 7th still feels like it's October 7th or October 8th. The pain is there, the fear is there, the emotions are raw. Over the course of the Shabbat, as part of our service on Saturday morning, I want us to come together and to reflect on everything that has transpired over the past 100 days and how we as a community, we as a people, and Israel as a country has changed. And on this Sunday night, as part of our minion at 8 o'clock, please join us as we'll come together and we'll recite prayers. We'll read the names of each and every hostage who has been held in captivity and continues to be held in captivity for the past 100 days. You know, a wise man once said that a person of wisdom doesn't count the amount of days, but makes sure that each and every day, each and every moment counts. It's not about 100 days. It's about each and every day. It's about each and every hour, each and every minute, each and every second that our brothers and sisters remain in captivity is too much. And we have a responsibility to come together, to pray together, to support each other, and to raise our voices together to ensure that not another second goes by, not another hour goes by, not another day goes by without insisting that our hostages are brought back home. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom.